Hi everyone, this is Selena Krauss and welcome to another card video. In this video, um, uh, I'm creating three cards using the new My Monthly Hero Kit for June, which is all about Northern Lights. You will see here the background that is a background stamp. Uh, you will notice that in my video I'm showing a clear stamp, however, your kit is going to come with red rubber cling stamp like the Hero's Bold Prints. This was made so the artist can do their uh, samples while the Hero's Factory was shut down. So this is another stamp set 4x6 that comes in the kit and also it comes with coordinating dies and also fancy dies for scene building. We have mountains, trees, uh, lighthouse, etc. So let's get started. I'm using um, Versamark or Embossing Mark Impression. So I'm uh, starting with inking my piece of cardstock using the Hero Art Shadow inks and I started with navy then I went to a uh, pool I'm using emerald, um, tight pool and antiqua I'm just uh, inking that uh, piece of white cardstock that white cardstock pretty nicely so the um, it's uh, nicely covered and saturated also I'm adding some grape juice and kind of with the ink uh, ink pad directly into the paper, blending those colors. Next, I'm going with my Misty and that background stamp. Again, you will receive a red rubber stamp that uh, gives nicer, crisper um, impression when you stamp it on your cardstock. I'm using the embossing ink. I'm just pressing down to make sure that um, I have nice coverage, that I stamp evenly. So when you use the dye shadow inks and you stamp with embossing or Versamark ink on top, uh, it looks like the uh, Versamark is lifting the color. So you have lighter impression. I'm just quickly drying here so you can see it nicer. And then I'm using some mica powder to spread and the mica will stick on the Versamark ink. So I'm using soft brush and the mica powder. And then I'm going with soft cloth and removing the excess. So we have nice shimmer on the background. So next I'll do one more background. For this one I'm using the Ombre Hydrangea, the grape juice, also some navy for the water and pool. So I'm just blending everything in, adding more color kind of to have nice saturated image because the impression of the embossing ink is better when you have a uh, more saturated saturated image and darker colors. So I created the water so for the sky I'm using orange soda bubble gum, uh, ultra pink and I'm using the hydrangea ombre ink. And again going back and forth with the colors and blending it in. And next I'm going in my misty and with a background stamp inking it up and I will stamp on top. Just pressing down with uh, my hand. I decided to use a cloth so it slides nicer. So I'll just um, dry it out a little bit and add that mica powder. So here I'm using two different colors, a little bit like kind of light blue for uh, the water and then I'm going with um, more redensant for the top. Just spreading that with um, soft brush. I'm using paper to touch uh, the background so it doesn't um, lift that powder onto my fingers. So in the meantime also I created a third background that you can see on the left. So uh, now we're gonna go on to assembling. So I die cut that uh, lighthouse from pitch black cardstock. I'm going to stamp the boat in black ink a few times using my Misty. And then I'm going to quickly emboss it with ultra clear uh, embossing powder. Ultra fine clear embossing powder. So I'm adding that embossing powder. I'm going to heat set it. And also there is a coordinating die for the uh, boat. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm inking that uh, lighthouse um, with embossing ink. And I'll apply some um, 
clear embossing powder and heat set it. So I think we have a good coverage here. And then using my heat tool, I will um, melt this embossing powder. So that way both uh, images that will be on our cart will match each other, meaning they'll be both embossed. So I'm um, die cutting the boat using the coordinating die and by magic of YouTube, it's already done. So you can see there's a white uh, edge around. So I'm just marked it where the water goes to it and I'll use my uh, ink pads to cover it in ink, the coordinating ink like the background. So because we have the image already embossed, it will be uh, easy to wipe off the excess. So the image is again nice and shiny. So I'm just positioning to try where I want my, uh, to see where I want my elements to be. Next I'm trimming down my background to four by five and a quarter. And then I will adhere the lighthouse using the Here Arts Precision Glue. And I'll pop the boat onto some um, foam squares. I'm just going to add a heavy block on top to keep it flat. In the meantime, I'll add the foam squares on the back of the boat and adhere it to my background. Next we have uh, to add the sentiment. So I'm putting my background back in the misty. And um, I'll position the sentiment. Make sure that it's straight. And then I'm using the intensified black ink to stamp. And the sentiment says, let your dreams sail. Let your dreams set sail. Next, I'm just trying to figure out which background I want to use for my card base. So I decided to go with white and I'm using some fun foam to adhere that background, that panel onto my note card. I'm using top folding white, a uh, dove white note card. Just add that one. And with this, our first card is finished. Now we can move to our second card. So I'm using the blue background. And I'll use the whale image, the tail and the head. Also use the moon and some of the stars. So for the whale, I, I could have done it, stamped it black, but I decided to do it more gray. And I'm using the pigment ink, uh, Moonstone. So I'm just going to ink my stamps. Stamp a couple times to have nice and even coverage. And since those are pigment inks, um, they're slow drying. I don't need to hurry up and emboss it, but uh, I'm still doing it right away. I'm embossing with clear, uh, ultra fine embossing powder. So next I'm using the coordinating die to die cut those two images. Securing it with some uh, purple tape. In my magic of YouTube, we have those two elements uh, already cut. I'll set those aside. Next I'm putting uh, my piece of cardstock back in my Misty. And I'm using the Moon and I'm using um, Reactive Ink uh, Lemon Drop. I'm going to stamp the Moon a couple times to have nice coverage again. And I'm using this time a uh, white satin embossing powder. So this gives a little bit sh um, shimmer and also kind of mutes the color because uh, the Lemon Drop Yellow was kind of bright. So I wanted to move that bright yellow, so I added the pearl embossing powder. Next I'm uh, stamping again, this time with embossing and uh, watermark ink and embossing one more time. And then while the embossing powder is still hot, I added another layer. 
and I'm heat setting it again. Next we're just gonna die cut the moon. Again I'm using some purple tape to secure that to the die to my cardstock. And uh, we've done the moon. Next I'll just do some ink blending with coordinating colors to remove those, kind of mask those white edges. So but before I go into that uh, I decided to add some uh, sky blue to the whale's body. So I'm uh, using a tiny um, blending brush. And next I will just ink blend, uh, blend those edges for both the whale, the head and the tail. I'm using the pool ink. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll do the same um, for the moon. And I'll just wipe it off using uh, my soft cloth. So now we can assemble my uh, our card. I'm trimming down my background to four by five and a quarter, the same way like we did for the previous. And then I'm chopping off that the uh, space for the water, the water part of the background. Also, I cut a piece of white cardstock that measures the same size as our background. And I'll adhere that uh, water onto the bottom of our white layer. So I'm using some fun foam, making sure here it's straight. And next I will position the sentiment, you're wonderful. And I will stamp it in that right above the water layer. Just making it uh, straight. And I'm using the intensified black ink to stamp the sentiment. I'll stamp it a couple of times to have a uh, nice and even coverage. Now I can measure um, where that top part will be. So we'll have a little slot for the sentiment. So I marked it up with my pencil on the back. And next I'll use a, a fun foam to adhere the top part of that background layer. So now I'm um, arranging my elements where I want them to be. I decided I wanted to stamp some of the stars. I'll stamp them with the embossing and watermark ink and then add a little bit of um, gold mica powder to the stars. So I stamped those and now it's time to add the mica powder and it's gonna stick to the embossing ink. Then I'll wipe off uh, the excess with my cloth and you can see uh, that reflection of the stars. Now I'm adhering the moon and next I'll adhere the layer to my um, white panel. And using uh, foam squares I'll adhere the whale and its tail. And next I had a hard time deciding what kind of background uh, note card I wanted to use for uh, my card. I went with black, white and I decided to use to make a pebble note card using a half sheet of pebble cardstock which measured five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a half. So then I just apply some liquid uh, glue on the back. I'm using the Hero Arts Precision Glue. And our second card is done now. So those are the two cards and let's move to the ter third and last card for today's video. I decided to use the Mountain Silhouette Fancy Die and a die cut from black cardstock, peach black cardstock. So I'm just trying to position it here where I want it to go and I'm just trimming off the bottom because it's open die so you can create mountains uh, uh, any dimension, any height. So I'm just trying to see where I want that to be and add a couple more elements. I decided to add the eagle and then a sentiment. Uh, next I decided to add mica powder to my mountain, so I'm adding some embossing ink on to the entire die cut. 
and then I'm using still um, gray kind of very dark gray uh, mica powder to add shimmer to the mountains so you can see it here it doesn't look pretty right now but once we remove the excess using a soft cloth that will look uh, much better so I'm just um, removing the excess here Now we're going to adhere that um, die cut onto our background. Again, I'm using the liquid glue. So I'll add some, uh, something heavy on top so it dries flat. Once it dry, I will put my background, um, well, before I stamped, uh, I'll cut my background down to four by five and a quarter. And here I'm using, uh, my finger still had some of that black uh, gray mica powder. And I was leaving um, fingerprints onto my background. So I'm just added a sticky uh, note. So I don't touch that background directly with my fingers and leave gray marks. Next, I'm going to stamp the eagle and the sentiment. And I'm using the intensified black ink. I'm stamping a few times to have nice... Uh, and saturated coverage from that uh, with that black ink. Next, I'm using uh, the unicorn wine pig, uh, white pigment ink to stamp some of the stars. So we're almost done here. For an extra effect, I decided to add some highlights using white gel pen. Also, use um, add some stars onto the sky. So I'm adding highlights in the water and the mountains. And next I'll add little dots for stars onto our background. So I'm just adding random dots. Making sure that they're spread nicely. more highlights to the water and I think uh, I like the look uh, I had a little bit left over from that darker mica powder on my brush so I added it on top of the white gel pen uh, in the water part next I'm adding some adhesive on the back of the panel and I'm adding fun foam and then I'm adhering it to a top folding white dove white note card so this finishes our third card I'll let that dry and here it's a closer look to all three of the cards. So you can see here the shimmer of those stars there that we stamped earlier. And the mountains here, and this is the one that uh, we've embossed the die cut and the boat. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to um, click on the subscribe now button if you like today's video so you're informed for any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye!